Yeah. How skinny he was, look. Right oh. Big fatty now. Shut <laughs> <laughs> <Not fatty. laughs> We met at the post office, didn't we? Yep. Yeah. Um, we were on late shift, were we? Nights. Nights, we were on nights, yeah. And then we went out for a meal and I was like, oh my God, I'm in love with him. <laughs> it was just that quick. Just, just like that. Yeah. And there's us on the wedding day. Yeah. Do you remember? <laughs> Yeah. I was both blubbing our eyeballs out. Uh, uh, no, I don't remember <laughs> that. <laughs> I don't remember that. <laughs> it's been a massive effect on my life. My partner in everything is now my the second child, if you like. I want to wash hands. Sometimes it feels like I've become a single parent of two children overnight. What's that say from you? He's gone from being my Ian that knows everything and I look up to and I ask for help and to not being able to do his shoelaces up sometimes. Sorry. Don't worry. Alright. Hi. Alright. Yeah. Come in. <laughs> Tommy's uh, decided he wants to go as a tortoise tomorrow for school. Uh, having Jodie as an abnormal nurse, I didn't even know what that was at first. I was like, what, for me? That's for me. Yes. Because everything's been for Ian, you know, put in place for Ian. And um, I was to get swept under the carpet, like, I didn't matter. <laughs> I've been working with Kelly for about a year and a half now. Um, they came to me straight after Ian was diagnosed with dementia. Jodie's helped me in a massive way. She's, <laughs> she's just always there with the answers. We're there to provide education, advice, support, counselling um, for that family. Tommy has grown in confidence because he was really struggling. He was quite scared and we managed to support him by getting some counselling. He used to do these quite dark pictures and it was wounds of death, the, the head. He's not drawing the horrible dark pictures anymore that he used to draw. He's now drawing nice pictures for mum. Kelly is a typical carer. She doesn't think about her. It's taken me a long, long time to persuade her to do something and we finally got her doing her crafts, which she really enjoys. And that just gives her a break away from being the carer. I think the support that I give Kelly has helped to keep Ian at home longer. Ian's deteriorating a lot and, and very quickly. She's just like a really, really, really good friend who comes over, understands what I'm going through, gets what I'm going through, and makes it a little bit easier. Sorry. It's okay. Yeah. I still love you. Thanks. <laughs> it's not your fault either. Don't be sad. <laughs> 